Hi there, this is a tutorial from um, RA3 Mapping, um, so this will be on Red Alert World Building and um, other related stuff to Red Alert 3. So in this first tutorial ever I'm just going to um, do a quick tutorial on the basics of the World Builder. Just open it up, you will be displayed with the end user agreement. You get this every time you load up, so if I click I accept and it will load. Because I'm running Vista, uh, this bit does take qu quite a little time. So just need to sit back and wait for a bit. a matter of waiting because because of the I'm not sure about the it's just because of Vista because some people have been telling me that it's my RAM that causes it to take so long but I have a two gig RAM and I have a dual core processor so I'm not quite sure how it could it could be the RAM. Um, so there we go. It's opened up. So you'll, be able to, you'll see this, and this will be here as well. This is your pro object properties, but uh, there's no objects to select. So this is your main back. This is your main window. So first of all, up here, I'm going to file and new. Be given this. This is where you put in the size and the initial weight height. So I'll just go with let's go with 300 by. 300 and I'll leave the initial height at 16 and the border size at 30 because that's the default. So now the map's made. Let's uh, throw a, a terrain, a little bit of uh, terrain on it. So up to the top toolbar, this is where all the most like, the useful tools are. So I have to click the bucket. And for the best grass looking effect, you want to scroll down, you'll get this, which is your terrain materials options. So you want to scroll down until you find the folder called New York. You want to double click that and you'll see grass New York 01-256. Click that, that's the best grass. And then you can just put it down a little bit. And then just click on that, on anywhere on this and you'll notice that the grass appears so I zoom out see the map so far another uh, thing that you would really need is the out you can see the outline on my ma on my uh, map if that isn't there then you want to go to view and uh, make sure there's a technique to if I take that away over there so you want to make sure there's a tick next to next to show map boundaries and that will be like the border so it means that no one can go past the line so you can't get past that line another useful thing to show you all is the brush tool you can see there's just a brush and there's one with a plus and a minus first of all like, open the one with the, just the normal brush no plus or minus you get this. So the cell, the size in cells is really the size of the brush, which you can see now it's a square and it's quite small. And the brush feather width is really like the green bit you see, which depends on how far it will feather, like how far it will go outside the blue. And then down underneath all of that, you've got the main option which says brush height. So whatever you set this to, if you click it will jump the land up, it won't do gradually, it will just all pop up to the height you want it. So you can see it's all popped up, it's all popping up. You can set it to, you can really set the height to whatever you want and see if it's higher. Now it's set it even higher. So you can really set the height to what you want, depending on the type of map you're trying to make. 
So to do it down, you really just put it to zero, and you can just go down. Also, indents a little bit into the ground. So you can also type in this box. So I just put in sixteen. And make it all back to normal. Faster process here. Right, um, no, is it back to normal? So after I've showed you the the brush tool, you'll see the brush with the little plus sign. So if you click that, really you'll be given the same options, but it'll be an amount to raise. So let's raise it by twelve feet. So if you notice, if I click, if you look at the map, it gradually raises. See it? If you really notice that as oh, as much. Yeah, you can see it. You see it gradually rising, which means it just goes nice and gradually up. Instead of jumping up a certain height, so you can make mountains and things like that with this. So if I just, so you can really set it to whatever height you want. I'm just using the same options. So now we're onto the tool that's a brush with a minus symbol. Which is really just what I've just really just showed you, but that lowers it. If you can see it lowering, so if you you see that that lowers instead of raising it by a certain amount of it at a time, like a certain bit at a time rather than jumping, it will lower it. So that's really the main the main thing you need to know for making the map. And then um, in the next video, I will be showing you how to add objects and um, roads and stuff. So, and how to add other types of um, terrain. So thank you very much for watching this very first um, tutorial for RA Mapping. Thank you very much. And this is RA Mapping. RA Mapping. Please subscribe and see you all here.